This might just be the best set of 2024 and we're going to be opening it up in today's video. I'm super excited because Quarter Century Bonanza is basically Rarity Collection 3. All of the QCRs that come in here, we got the nostalgic factor, we got the meta new school stuff, a ton of really good reprints. So I'm really excited to be opening this up in today's video. Now I just want to give a big shout out to Game 3 for providing us with this booster box. Without them, we wouldn't have this booster box here for today's video. So if you guys want to go check them out, I'll leave a link at the top of the description below. But again, big shout out to Game 3 for providing us with this quarter century bonanza box let's get right into it because i'm really excited to see what we can pull today so here it is our very first booster box of a quarter century bonanza again i want to give a big shout out to game three for providing this to us and i will say i actually have a case coming in which is going to be a live stream and uh, i'm not sure when that's going to be in you guys are going to see this video i think on the wednesday and the live stream is probably going to be monday by the time i get my case hopefully sooner, maybe Friday, probably gonna be Monday if I'm being honest. However, I just wanna say, let's get right into this because I'm super excited. Now, there's one thing that bothers me about Quarter Century Bonanza, okay? So let's take a look at this box. First of all, this box is beautiful. I really like the gold, the aesthetic here is really nice. But five cards per pack and 24 packs per box. I don't know what the ratios are like, but I think the five packs for, per pack is kind of what's throwing me off. I feel like, are the other, were the other rarities five cards? Maybe the other rarities were too. Maybe I'm tripping. Because I, I was thinking the other rarities were more than five cards per pack. But maybe it's me. However, this is a Rarity Collection 3, effectively. I know it's not called Rarity Collection 3, but it pretty much is. Hey squad, Spanko here to bring you guys a very important message. Do you guys see these Book of Eclipse, Book of Moon, and Dean Smith directly on deck boxes I have here? Well, you guys can win them for free. All you guys got to do is head on over to my Instagram page where CardCastle3D has partnered up with us to give away three different custom deck boxes, which means three of our squad members are going to be winners. All you guys got to do is head to the link in the description, follow the instructions, and you'll be entered in to win one of these three insane deck boxes. So make sure the card castle 3d for partnering up with the spanko squad today you guys can win one of these three amazing beautiful deck boxes check out the link in the description and with that let's get back into today's video and uh the craziest part about this is the fact that you can get two qcrs in a single pack so for anyone who doesn't know how this set works essentially you have a nostalgia pool and you have your main pool oh toon bl oh this is our pl prismatics wow from the start this is crazy. So this is the Platinum Secret Rare or the Prismatic Secret Rare? No, Platinum Platinum Secret Rare. The reason you're able to get two uh, QCRs per pack is because you're guaranteed one card from the Nostalgia Pool. Now, in the Nostalgia Pool, you can only get Prismatic Secret Rares like this or Platinum Secret Rares. Sorry if I keep messing that up. But you can get Platinum Secret Rares like this or Quarter Century Rares. But that doesn't exclude the Quarter Century Rare that you can get from the Not Nostalgia Pool, which is the, the Meta Pool, essentially what we're going to call it, right? So the fact that you can get multiple high rarity cards like this is insane. So we're starting things off with a Platinum Secret. However, again, you are pretty much guaranteed a Platinum Secret in every pack. Uh, Curse Seal of the Forbidden Spell, Polymerization, absolutely insane artwork. I hope I, I hope this one comes as a QCR. I haven't seen it. I assume it does. I really want this as a QCR. You guys know me. I'm a big, like, I mean, Jaden's literally right there. I got Flame Wing Man, Avion, got Burst into Tricks over there too. And the fact that uh, Polymerization now comes with the Burst into Tricks and Avion art is really, really nice. So that is our secret rare over there. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to separate this real quick because I want to kind of show you guys what our ratios look like. Super rare and ultra rares we don't really care about but let's look at secret rares and higher first things first i think that first pack was already a really good one now i'm gonna assume that okay let's just put this to the back because i'm gonna assume that there is a hit at the front and i don't want to see the hit so that grass looks really an absolutely beautiful uh super rare card over here crystal shark we got a danger bigfoot we got a Redox Secret Rare, very nice. And this is another Platinum Secret Rare, the Genix Ally Birdman. Okay, so I think that is the Nostalgia. But yeah, Tomb Black Cluster Soldier, I think is the Nostalgia Pool as well. So the first card in every pack is the Nostalgia Pool. Okay, good to know, good to know. So what we'll do, just to, just to not, you know, give it away right away, we'll put it in the back. So let's see if we can get a double QCR pack though, because I've seen it happen and I think that's insane. The fact that you can get two QCRs in a pack, Abyss Tius, Shizuku over here, this is a regular artwork. Clockwork Knight, very nice reprint. This card was actually pretty expensive as a secret rare. And a Trap Hole Platinum Secret Rare. Still no QCR. Still no QCR. Oh, I also don't know what the ratios are. Side note. I don't know, because I know Rarity Collection 2 was like five QCRs per box. Do we get five QCRs here? Oh, I already ruined it. We got a Platinum Secret Rare Premature Burial. We're going to get a lot of Platinum Secret Rares in this set. Insane. All right, let's see if we can get something higher here. One for one. Oh, we got our first collector's rare, a Nemesis Flag over here into a Moonlight Dragon Secret Rare. Okay, okay. I will say the uh, collector's rares are actually looking a lot better in this set. Oh, I really like that rarity, actually. That looks really, really nice. I haven't... Oh, we got to see what the ultimate rares look like. 
Yeah, because I think it's the same breakdown as uh, as uh, Rarity Collection 1 and 2, right? So you're going to get an Ultimate Rare and higher over here. Ooh, I know we get... The thing is, you get something shiny in every pack. So when you see, like, the shine, it's not as impressive. Oh, but we are having a QCR 6 Samurai Hatsume. I said that. I don't even know what I just said. Not even English. But that was our first QCR over here. Secret 6 Samurai Hatsume. And then a Platinum Secret Rare, Prismatic Secret Rare. I don't know what you guys want to call it. Uh, Thunder Dragon Gabrio. You guys can correct me. I think it's Platinum Secret Rare. We pulled our first QCR, though. Six Samurai Hatsume. I know Six Samurai has been getting a lot of support. I'm honestly unsure if you played that card in Six Samurai. I don't know anything about that set or that deck. So uh, maybe something I can learn now. Uh, Neptibus over here. Hatsume is an ultra rare. Monster Reborn as a Platinum Secret Rare into a second Platinum Secret Rare Soul Servant. So you see how we just did that? Imagine that, but double QCR. That's essentially what can happen, which is insane in the set. We're going to get so many of these Platinum Secret Rares. And I think... If you guys are looking for, you know, picking up cards on a budget, but still want to be high rarity, Platinum Secret Rare is the way to go. Like that rarity is insane. It's very similar to the QCR. Oh, this is our first ultimate rare, Red Eyes Insight. So what I'll do is I'll just do put this here. Galatea ultimate rare, back to back, ultimate rares, rivalry secret rare. And we got a Fishboard Blaster as our Platinum Secret Rare over here. So you guys can see we got one, two, three, three cards out of five cards were hits in that set, in that pack. Like three for five is insane. The fact that you can get higher than a super rare card. Now I will say though, I think it does make the super rares a little bit harder to pull. Cause I think you're only getting one super rare per pack. So if you're getting a dark, which is cool, but like you want an SP, Gear Suit is really nice, super polymerization. You want something like SP, it's gonna be a lot harder to pull, right? Nightmare Phoenix, good secret rare. And what is a QCR? We got a Blackwing Kalute the Moon Shadow as a QCR. Very, very nice one over here. Shout out my Edison players, shout out my Blackwing players. I'm a big Blackwing guy actually myself. I wonder what the QCR is over here really and then uh We'll just, yeah, we'll just organize it like this for now. Okay, so we'll count up how many QCRs we get in a box later. I'm hoping it's at least four to five. Like I'm hoping it's at least four to five. And I really want a few more in the regular pool rather than the nostalgia pool. Granted, there are cards in the uh, nostalgia pool or in the regular pool that can't even come as QCR. Ooh, Bigfoot alternate art QCR over here. Can we get, oh, okay. I was hoping, I was hoping we get double the QCR, but Bigfoot QCR. I actually really like this artwork. The Yeti artwork is really, really nice. And then glow up bulb. So we have three QCRs so far. You know what's crazy with these rarity sets is it's always so hard to react and like, you know, be super surprised because you're expecting something big, right? So when you see something big, you're like, okay, there it is. And I guess what we're waiting for is to see what that big thing is. Draco Sack over here, very nice collector's rare card. We got Blaster over here. Destiny Hero Malicious, very nice secret rare. And we got a Smashing Ground. Guys, if you ever want to max out your Edison decks, like this is an Edison player's, I mean, Soul Survey, I guess not, but if you guys ever want to max out Edison or Goat, like, this is insane. The fact that you can get so many of these Platinum Secrets. And again, I, I don't know what the pricing on these cards are. I, I haven't looked at the pricing at all for this set. It's just coming out. Uh, when you guys are seeing this, it's literally going to be the first day of it being out. So it, it's hard because it's like, oh, Summoning Curse, Platinum Secret, and the second Platinum Secret, Marauding Captain over here. But yeah, I was going to say, it's, it's really hard because I haven't looked at the pricing, but I, I assume if it's following the same pattern as Rarity Collection 1 and Rarity Collection 2, we know that the Platinum Secret Rares are going to be significantly less than the QCRs, and they're still a very high rarity, right? So those are going to be really nice. Tidal over here, Punishment Dragon, Fable Luri, Abyss and a QCR Snipe Hunter. Shout out uh, Nim Nim and Simo, bro. Those uh, the, those cards put the, put this card on the map. Snipe Hunter, this Hunter is an insane card. We have four QCRs so far. Oh, so hold on, hold on. That was our first. That was our right side. So four QCRs on our right side. So maybe the ratios are eight. Maybe it looks like we got two of the nostalgic pool and then two of the regular pool. So maybe that's what the ratios are going to be looking like. Branded opening super rare over here. Another opening. That grass. Trap trick as a platinum secret rare and Cyberstein as a platinum secret rare insane wow wow okay so that's our goal for this video now so we've gotten the double platinum secret rare let's get a double qcr we have to get a double qcr pack it has to be possible i know it's possible i know we're gonna make it happen we're gonna make it happen not in this pack but we do have a qcr slime in the sky dragon oh my this is beautiful i don't know if the camera does it justice to be honest with you like this card is insane the artwork is really nice the qcr rarity just makes so much sense on these god cards I love this. Yeah, I don't know. I'm hoping the camera does it justice because these look really, really nice. I really like the QCR on that slide for the Sky Dragon. Honestly, this, that was very, very nice. But let's see 
if we can still go for that double QCR. Uh, Grave, set rotation, Lord of the Heavenly Prison. Oh, I'm noticing that we're getting a lot less of the ultis and the collector's rares in this set. So those might be a little bit, Gale, Gale, Pilot TV Rare. Those might be a little bit harder to pull actually, because I'm noticing the other, because I remember the other rarity questions, we get like five to six of those, like five to six of each of those, right? Which is kind of insane. So the fact that we only have two and three right now is not that much considering it's a whole box, right? Although you're only getting five cards per pack. We got a Kizaru, Deep Sea Diva Secret Rare, and a Dark Magician. Oh, this in QCR would have been insane. We got the Platinum Secret Rare over here. I want to organize this for you guys. I feel like you, you guys need a better view of this. Let me let me organize it real quick. A few moments later. All right, so after that short break, we are back. We are back and we're aiming for that QCR again. Assuming it's four QCRs per side, we still have a chance. We still have uh, three more to go. And let's see if we can get a double QCR box. House Dragon Maid is an ultimate rare. Title as well. Thunder, Dragon, Dark, and oh, it's a Platinum Secret Rare Drill Warrior. Okay, you know what? I'm kind of happy that didn't take our uh, our uh, the QCR spot. That would have been not the greatest QCR to pull. So I'm happy that one didn't take the QCR slot. If I want a card though, you know what card I want in a Super Rare? Okay, it's not Colossus. I was going to say SP Little Knight uh, would be a really nice Super Rare. Bonfire. I haven't seen those cards. Kizaru over here as an Ultimate Rare. Promethean Princess Secret Rare. Okay, okay, good reprint. And Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Now this card, if you guys uh, ever want to play Magia in uh, in Blue Eyes when the structure deck comes out and you want to max out that deck, because that deck is like very pretty when you max it out, like pretty much everything comes in QCR. If you guys want to max out that deck, you're probably going to be looking for a uh, QCR Ultimate Dragon, assuming that, uh, you know, you guys are choosing to play Magia, because not everyone does. We got a Ballista here, Six Samurai United, Malicious as an Ultimate Rare, Cursed Seal of the Forbidden Spell, and brain control guys these cards are really pretty honestly the more i look at them the more i'm like wow i really like these platinum secret rares i mean i always liked them i always thought they were really nice i think they're a big upgrade from rarity collection one the ones from rarity collection two and now quarter century Bonanza. i feel like they're a huge huge upgrade from rarity collection one absolutely beautiful cards okay let's just let's just go for that double qcr collector's rare lore of darkness monster reborn okay we're not getting that double over here but we are getting a breaker over here which is a really nice card for go format actually i think i might just I don't know if I'm going to do it. I could just QCR all my Edison and my Goat decks, but maybe I just go with the Platinum Secrets because the Platinum Secrets are really, really nice. Fable Lurie, Super Rare. Ghost Reaper, I completely forgot this card was in here. Salomon Great Circle. Six Samurai United. And it's not a QCR. Morphing Jar number two. Okay, okay, guys. Guys, what is what is going on? We only have five QCRs. We only have five QCRs. Come on. Come on. We got to end it on the bang. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There's no shot we're ending on five. Abyss Shark over here. That's a really good reprint, actually. Prevailer. Perotos. Super Poly, Dual Academy, no QCR. Two more. We literally are on two packs left. We have to get three QCRs in two packs. I guess it's technically possible because we can get double QCR and then regular QCR. But that's also, I'm just making out that it's eight QCRs per box. We don't actually know if that's the case, right? Rivalry. Oh, we do have a QCR. Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries. This one I really like. You guys might not be like, you guys might be like, oh, this is whatever. But I really like this card. Fun fact, this is my favorite hand trap of all time. This was the hand trap that I played when I got my first top. And that was that was really fun. So I really, really liked uh, Ghost Reaper. It's just a nostalgic card for me. And we have a Krebons as a Platinum Seeker Rare. So Ghost Reaper, very happy with that one. But we only have one, two, three, four, five, six. So could this be our last pack magic? Could it be a double QCR pack? I want to make it happen, guys. I want to make it happen. Let's see if we can make it happen. Arch Nemesis Protos. We got a Swap Frog, Ultra Rare. We have a Grave. Oh, it's not going to happen, guys. Branded opening, but... Ancient Gear Golem Platinum Secret Rare. This one actually would have been really nice as a QCR. I'm a big GX guy, if you guys know. But uh, yeah, that was pretty good. I mean, six QCRs in a box. Kind of crazy that we got four on one side, but um, I'm I'm really like these. These look really really good. I'm a big fan of the Ghost Reaper and the Slifer. And again, if and the Bigfoot actually is really really nice to be honest with you. And again, if, if you guys are here for the nostalgic stuff, there's a lot of really cool nostalgic stuff. Let's sort of go through the collectors rare. So Allure, Lord, Mecha Phantom Beast, and Nemesis Flag. We got a few Altis, Malicious, Kizaru, Dragon Maid, Galatea, and Red Eyes. Those are all really nice cards. Secret rares, of course. Now I'm gonna be honest. Now that I'm looking at this set. I, some of these cards might be pricey because you're not getting that many cards per box. It's only five cards per pack. And if 
I guess like half of the hits are going to be nostalgic pulls. Some of the non nostalgic I mean, we didn't see an SP super rare. And again, super rare, I didn't see an SP in any rarity actually now that I think about it, right? Because we have our ultra rares and, and super rares and stuff here as well. And if you're not seeing like some of these cards like SP, Thrust, who knows, man? Is it going to be hard to pull those cards? This is a very big set. One for one. I even talk about this. This is the alternate art. This is a very nice alternate art for one for one. You have the alternate arts for Shizuku in here as well. So who knows, guys? I, I think it's a great set. Don't get me wrong. But could it be overhyped? Could it be really difficult to get the cards that you guys want to get? Who knows, man? Who knows? But i'm really happy with that box i think that was a really really fun first opening if you guys did enjoy today's video make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one again i want to give a huge shout out to game three for providing us with this box without them this opening wouldn't be possible so i appreciate them make sure to check them out a link will be at the top of the description thank you guys again all for watching this wouldn't be possible without every single one of you i appreciate you all with that spanko signing out peace